What is up YouTube? So we are gonna try out this new Steam Beta for the Tesla. We're gonna turn our Tesla Model S into a little gaming PC. So um, this only works, I believe, on the Model S and Model X 2022 or newer models. And that's because they have the 16 gigabytes of RAM. Um, so sorry, Chick. I think they said they have an upgrade option if you have um, an older model, but I don't think it would be worth it. But let's let's find out how this runs. We're gonna try some games here, and the uh, the the car comes with a basic 80 gigabytes, I believe, um, um, solid state drive. You obviously need something bigger than that because games these days cost or cost take up 80 plus. So we went to Best Buy picked us up a Samsung solid state drive T7 and this is actually the same one um, Tesla would sell you for $350 yuck this cost me it's on sale right now at Best Buy for $79.99 so if you want a deal $79.99 at Best Buy and uh, pick one of these bad boys up so yeah let's uh, install this and see what um, this thing can do all right, so this is what's inside the box. You got your Samsung uh, solid state drive, and then you have uh, two cables here. One is uh, the USB-C, and just a regular USB, which I believe we'll use this to plug it into the glove box here. You have the included uh, USB key that Tesla has. Let's take that bad boy out. Oh God, I can't reach. Let's check that out. So that is the Tesla uh, USB key. So we're gonna switch this bad boy out with what we have here. All right, so we plugged in our USB uh, to the port in the glove box on the Model S. We're gonna hit the, actually we're gonna hit this car menu. We're gonna go to safety over here. We're gonna hit format USB and format for Steam. It's gonna partition 64 gigabytes for uh, dash cam and the rest is going to the Steam library. But we got one terabyte or a thousand gigabytes, so we are solid. Format, and let's see what goes down. All right, let's launch. Ooh, you can see me. Look how dirty that touch screen is. Yeah. All right, we've got a nice little startup screen here. For me, I'm actually, it does support Bluetooth, but I bought this. It was pretty cheap at GameStop for 20 bucks new, just a Xbox controller, but um, well, I see a lot of people using PlayStation 5 controllers uh, through Bluetooth, and that works perfectly for you if you want to do that. So, yeah. All right. So, your whole whole ass game library shows up in here. So, games that have, like, this little yellow exclamation mark, pretty much it means it'll work, but there might be some problems with it. If there's, like, a green check mark, it means it's good to go. So, I'll show an example. Let's see. Great on deck. So, Boom. So green check mark, good, good, good. So these are games that are like optimized to be working. And it's really optimized for the Steam Deck, but this is like pseudo Steam Deck, so yeah. Death Stranding, I actually might download that just to see how it runs, but not now because for some reason the download speed is super slow. As I'll show you guys here, if you wanna see what you're downloading, click on that top right button and it'll show you what is downloading and there you can see I'm downloading The Witcher Wild Hunt 3. Um, it's actually done downloading. It's just verifying the uh, the goods. And yeah, the, this screen looks just like the PC, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, let's, uh, let's boot up one of these games and see how they work. I think we'll start with a little Counter-Strike Go. All right, so we're playing a little uh, Counter-Strike Go. Uh, oh my God, playing this on controller is so bad but we're playing it on uh, the default uh, settings, which was uh, on max settings. But damn, playing with a controller is freaking hard. And I'm getting, <laughs> this guy was called Bot Chad, get wrecked. But yeah, playing on controller is freaking hard on this. That's what she said. Oh, you little schoolgirl. So yeah, uh, there's no input lag at all. Max gra or Max settings, the screen is like, 1100 or something like spin random Well, what the hell dude? I'm terrible on controller Yeah, so there we go nothing crazy. Oh Man sniping is freaking hard. Oh, what the 
heck just happened there? See a little, a little legs, a uh, little rubber banding there, kind of just launched forward. Ooh, let's see if we can sneak up on these fools. Nope, he saw me. Oh, I'm so bad. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got here. Got a little scar action. Okay, okay. Okay, so we see them up, up ahead. On the right side here. All right, come on. Oh, I see. Oh, it's a chicken. How do you zoom in? What is happening? Oh, my God. Okay, the internet connection is not the best. Kind of rubber banding here. that are right on top on the left. Let's see. Oh, I'm going to die with the best weapon. Fudge. Oh, I'm so bad. All right, well... So just a little internet, internet connection, but that's probably my Wi-Fi because I'm in the driveway. But yeah, not a, like no lag or anything, no FPS drops. But I mean, it's Counter-Strike Go, nothing too crazy. I mean, they they did upgrade, update the graphics, but nothing too crazy here. So let's uh, yeah, let's change games. Let's see what else they got. All right, it's so gonna try some Resident Evil Two. Um, Launching the, even though it's on a solid state drive, launching the game kind of takes a little bit. First time you launch too, it does a little installation of shaders, of course, so. Yep, so let's see how this goes. All right, so here are the graphic settings for Resident Evil 2. I put it in borderless window because anything else, it actually made the screen smaller. I don't know why, but anyway, borderless window, there's a resolution. Um, I put it on balanced mode for uh, fidelity. Refresh is 60. I just turned off that or pretty much turning it off Anti-aliasing I uh, pretty much that's pretty much the max I put on that everything else I put on medium um, Let's just see how the, the game runs with medium and most of the stuff on that matters So yeah, let's give it a go Playing hunks scenario from Resident Evil 2 Yeah, so no FPS drops, but there's no action on screen yet. Let's see. All right, let's go. So we've got some zombies here, shooting them. Yeah, let me lower this for a little bit so the neighbors don't freak out. Oh, Shiza. A little close-up action there for you. Ooh, this controller has its rumble feature still. So. Whoa, I feel like these zombies are stronger than usual. Let's see if we can get a headshot going. Oh, shoot. Okay. Yeah, so pretty smooth gameplay with medium settings balanced on uh, the super resolution. Let's see if we can headshot this bad boy. Ooh, critical shot, nice. Yeah, graphics and performance are not bad. Nice. I like that the rumble feature is pretty responsive and like normal as if it's console. Oh, we got a little magnum action. Let's save that. Oh shit. Oh god, I just started reloading. Where'd it go? Yeah, a little, fr you can see a little frame drop right now. I don't know why. I'm in a room doing nothing. And it's dropping pretty bad. Damn, I can't see anything. So do we have a grenade? Heck yeah, we do. That was the worst grenade throw ever. There we go, there we go. Okay, I think we're gonna end it soon here. I just wanna test out this Desert Eagle. 
yeah, we're getting a little bit of a frame drop right now. So I think if you really wanted a smooth gameplay uh, experience with this type of game, you would just put it all on max or all on low settings. Dude, how do you get out of here? Oh, this is a door. All right, here we go. Here's our test dummy. Oh, where the hell did he come from? Oh, oh, dang you. <laughs> I'm the worst at this. Oh yeah, I wasted all the Magnum ammo. Oh, there's more? Let's go, boys. You want some of this too? There we go, you want some also? Just waste all the Magnum ammo. All right, yeah, so FPS drops for sure here. Yeah, so I would probably put it all in low settings. All right, let's test out The Witcher 3. All right, so we're here with Witcher 3, and I just started the game up and was kind of just playing around to remember the, the controls, and oh my God, it auto-detected the settings to go to medium. It was bad. It was like 15 to 20 frames per second. So I'm going back in. I'm changing everything to low. Um, let's just see what else we got here. Does any of this stuff matter significantly? Uh, let's see. I think that's it. All right, so let's try this and let's see how this goes. We're, we're currently in combat, so let's see how the frame rate uh, adjusts to it. And I apologize, I do not remember how to play this game. <laughs> it's been so long. Oh, okay, they just instant died. Okay, so I tr as you guys saw, I kind of lowered the settings to low and there's not even any anti-aliasing and it's kind of choppy still like all those settings don't really matter because the screen's so small but dang there we go there's another one this one popped him i'm probably i'm probably like op uh further level let's see what else got a little betty over here so do a little force push yep just chopped him once and he's dead yeah, so it's very stuttering. Man, I'm kind of sad because Tesla, um, uh, they advertise this game as like, oh, you could play this game on our car. And <laughs> this thing barely, like, honestly, I'm kind of a gaming snob, I guess, because my gaming PC has like a 4090. But damn, this is too choppy for me. Like, I do not want to mess around with this. Uh, it's I, I mean, it's up to you guys, like, I don't know how, uh, the hell's this? What do you do with that? I don't know. Um, like, I don't know what your tolerance is, but it is not worth playing. Like, I cannot play this whole game on a monitor like this with this performance. Like, this, especially Witcher 3, like, this game's so freaking old. Like, you, it, you deserve to play this game at max settings. Actually, I think I'm, I think I'm actually gonna download this now today. Oh, what the F? I'm gonna download this on my uh, actual gaming PC and let's see how it looks and performs. Whoa! I see you. So yeah, like I said, very choppy. Um, I don't. I would not be able to play this. Let me know what you guys uh, think about this performance. If you guys have a Tesla, where have you have you been playing it like this, or have you figured out how to get better performance out of it? But yeah, this game's old, kind of crazy. It can't run. I'm actually so I'm surprised it actually ran pretty good. It ran better than I expected for Resident Evil 2. So after g playing that game, well, going from Counter Strike, Counter Strike's an old game too, but that was pretty smooth. And then going from Counter-Strike to Resident Evil 2, I was surprised that it ran Resident Evil 2 pretty well. And so I had very high hopes this game would be the the bad badassery. And it just got shrecked with performance. Like, this should be a stable 60... I, I feel like at low settings, this should be a stable 60 frames per second. Like, nothing's even happening on screen. And it's so stuttery. I am, I'm going to try to download GTA 5 and maybe Cyberpunk just to see how it performs, but I already know it's not going to be good. But yeah, so hopefully uh, you guys like this video. 
Um, if it helps you set it up with installation of your salt state drive, uh, hit that like and subscribe button. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace.